Okay, we got uh, one side of this sausage brown. Spread them out good. That, once you get that nice golden brown, um, the rest of this goes pretty quick. But uh, you want to get that sausage browned or get some of that fat going in there. Because you're going to mix some flour with this grease to make a roux. So you want to get that cooked out of the sausage. This is smoked sausage, uh, no spices. I like really spicy sausage, but my wife don't. So we're going to make without all the spices. I'll add a little spice to mine at the end. So we got this going. Now we want to add some flour while we still got quite a bit of the bottom of the Dutch oven exposed here with the grease. We're going to add some flour right with right in here with it and just keep it stirring and get it thick and this just thickens up your jambalaya and makes it really thick and tasty. So just put a little flour in there. You can add a little later too if you don't get thick enough. But what this does when you cook that flour in there, it uh, picks up all those flavors down there off that, off that sausage. And it carries all that flavor into the jambalaya throughout. Once you uh, start putting the liquid and So that's about three tablespoons of flour and there's no scientific way, at least for me. Um, I just like to soak up most all that grease and cook it right there with the sausage. Now, once that's all soaked up, all those flavors, this is the squirrel meat that I boiled overnight in a crock pot. Three, this is three squirrels. You can uh, get the recipe at ramblingangler.com. Um, I just like to heat it up, I'm not really browning it or anything. Just getting this mixed up good. Once I get that mixed up, I want to get, I want to put my green pepper and my celery in there and just steam it a little bit here. Put the onion in here too. This is just by value or sweet onion. flavors mixed up good let's get that going let's move this to the side here I want just a little bit of garlic and I like to cook it a little bit brown that garlic just a little pull it over here to the side get it cooked a little I 
I like to do this before adding the liquid. It just kind of gets everything going. Now, I'll mix this all up real good. That sticking to the bottom is perfect. You put that liquid in there, all that will kind of, you don't want it to burn, but right now it's not burning. Got to look the heat turn down a little. And uh, that just makes flavor. All that is flavor. Get this all mixed up. Now, I'm going to add this is broth from the squirrel when I cook the squirrel. Pour that in there. Mix it up good. Well, that's about a cup of squirrel broth. Chicken broth. Two cans of chicken broth. Turn the heat up just a little. Get it going. Tomato juice, some thyme, this is fresh parsley, put some Tony Sashery on here. Creole seasoning. I'm going to add a little beer. My wife left her beer over here, so I'm going to use a little of it. Mixed up, I'm going to add me a bay leaf. One bay leaf. Once this gets heated up good, need some salt and pepper. Just some. Sea salt. And fresh ground pepper. Simmer up, get nice and hot. And now we're going to stir in about two cups of rice.
You can add some shrimp, diced tomatoes, whatever you want. If you like, usually I add some diced tomatoes, but I didn't have any. I put a little tomato juice. And you're gonna simmer that down. Turn the heat down once it's warm and let her cook. Mm. 